the ultimate fusion prep. I think I have most of it laid down for you guys. Literally how much silver, how much energy, how much food, how much rank up points, shards you would need to complete the fusion as free to play. I'm going to prove to you that I think it can still be done, but maybe you guys can double check my math. So let's jump right into today's video. So one of the first things I want to break down for you guys, or at least show you what I've done, and again, maybe you guys can double check, I want to go over the energy and the food you might need to complete the upcoming fusion. I'm gonna be using this value of experience here per champion per run for the calculations I've done in the spreadsheet, all right? So uh, let's do the easy part of the energy first, which is the tournaments. We had estimated before that for every energy spent, you get 1.1 point towards the tournament of a specific dungeon if you are doing level 20s. So if we break down all four tournaments and we use the same values we saw for Astralon, we're looking at about 6,140 energy. But then there's the harder part, which is the champion training event and champion training tournament. Because you're doing rank ups and you're leveling at the same time, everybody will have to use a different amount of energy depending on how well prepared they are. So I put this value right here, 6,400 energy, roughly for the champion training event to get the last milestone, which is typically a rare void champion. To get to this value, here comes this table right here. I've basically broken down what it looks like to rank up and level up the champions to basically do one rank six level 60 champion, all right? So if we look at, let's say, the points you would get for rank up total, total rank up points would be, for example, this right here. You could get away with doing a ton of rank ups all the way up to your level 60 champion. That would be about 2,700 points, all right? These cells added up right here. But obviously, you're leveling up food at the same time. So if you, let's say, add up all those points, you would be looking at a whopping 8,000 points, right? If you do all the level uh, two or the rank two to level 20 on top of that, and that's over 10,000 points total. Most of us don't tend to hang on to the level twos. It just takes up too much room in our inventory, right? I would assume that perhaps more endgame players also don't tend to hang on to a lot of rank three champions at level one, which is what I'm saying right here, what to keep, all right? But then I broke down the energy cost to do all the levels of all these champions, all right? So I'm going to assume that for most of us, we're gonna be in this region right here. We're gonna be doing the rank threes and rank fours, 60 and 20 of them. We're gonna be ranking them up and then we're going to be leveling them up, which would give us roughly the energy cost needed to do this. And that is how I got this value. Okay, so roughly 6,400 energy. Again, this might differ quite a bit if you already have food saved up as you're walking in there. Then I applied the exact same concept to the champion training tournament, which is again, very similar. So if we add up all of that energy, we get roughly these amounts right here added together. We're looking at about 16,000 energy. Sounds like a lot, does it? Technically, if we look at the monthly energy we get, which is what I have broken down in this chart for you guys, or this table, sorry, is basically on two weeks, or over the course of two weeks or four weeks, you get roughly 15,000 energy, which is pretty reasonable. That's basically on par with what I just explained if you're starting from scratch, right? And this is basically the daily breakdown, regeneration, daily quest, playtime reward, advanced quest, the shop, which every second day does seem to have some energy now sort of like those freebies or the goodies you get in the shop weekly ascension rank up and then monthly you get your two artifacts to 16 the arena your 150 fights i multiply this by 30 for the days and then i said for uh, for the weekly sorry i multiplied it by six because it's basically on a five day not seven days anymore and then the monthly for a total of fifteen thousand total energy so if we go back to the calendar I see here that roughly you should have enough energy to complete all the energy requirements. Then of course there's the Dungeon Divers event, which is going to be completed as you're doing the energy for the tournaments 
and the champion training event and tournament. If you do end up needing a little bit more energy on certain days, which will most likely happen, and I'll explain why in a second, here's how I prepare for that. I have energy saved up in here from the freebies we get from the shop. Same thing with, let's say, the events and tournaments, which means that all the ones that are active right now, you could apply this to them, is that I'm not going to grab this energy until the fusion start basically if i don't grab it after 48 hours of this being done it is going to also go in your mail then you can also uh, hoard some chickens here i see 900 points 500 points 400 points 330 points just ready to go as for my champion inventory or vault i have the ultimate backup here which is all the rares I've ever gotten in the game at level 30 in my vault. If I need to go pick in there a couple because I'm short somewhere, I can do that. You can also hoard some in your champion inventory, assuming you uh, haven't run out of space. So this is a very easy way for you to be prepared for this. Then there is, of course, the gems. The gems, that is your ultimate energy backup. I don't usually hoard energy months before or weeks before the fusion is going to start to walk in there with like 5,000 energy. I like to just rely on the regeneration. I think it's, uh, you would lose too much if you end up doing that, but it is a strategy. But here's the problem with basically the timing. When they end up giving you multiple things to do on the same day. For example, a Fire Knight tournament at the same time as a champion training tournament. If we use the free energy to complete the Fire Knight tournament, it might take you two days, maybe even three days for you to complete it as free to play. Obviously that is going to count towards your Dungeon Divers event, great, but then that only really leaves you a day to finish your champion training tournament. And if you have to spend 3000 energy you don't have enough of that in a day so all that saved up energy i talked about can be used on that specific day if it's not enough then you end up spending a little bit of gems now we can move on to the shards for the summon rush and the champion chase tournament much like the other two events and tournaments this is a little bit hard to estimate because you guys will have a different amount of shards walking in there we've covered a lot of this before but if we are going to have a summon rush as part of a two chance ancient shard event if you want to get just the rare champion we're thinking he's going to be at around 1070 points which is a rare void champion that would translate to 54 ancient shards you can do that with a mix of shards. You can do it with mystery shards. You might have to anyway for the champion training event and tournament. So overall, if you have in this range, you should be all right. As for the champion chase tournament, again, this might require a certain amount of shards from you guys. If it is a two chance void or a 10x void, or you decide to use your leftover ancient shards that you did not already use, you might have to end up spending a couple, but the easiest way to gather points for those is with extra fusions. Right now, I only have Yoshi. I was not able to get uh, Bloodhorn for me to do a couple Broadma fusions. I do have the other ones, but again, this is a very easy points. 350 points for a void epic so it should be pretty easy for you guys to complete then there is going to be the fusion potions which because it is a classic fusion is going to require a certain amount we still don't exactly know if it is going to be for epic champion the same epic champion let's say all spirit affinity if it's going to be let's say a mix like it was for pixel but overall you can roughly estimate the amount of potions you would need with these tables right down here if you want to be all ultra prepared you could get these values for each of the four different affinities or you might want to just play it sort of like in between and get a little bit of each of them again you can do all of that as of today before the fusion even starts don't get caught with needing to spend energy for those potions last minute and that would be let's say the only limiting factor for you to get this fusion also don't forget that the void keep is only opened on Sundays, right? So you might want to uh, start hoarding at least those potions a little bit earlier. And finally, let me finish with this little bit of information here. This was another table I had done to roughly estimate how many free gems you could generate on a monthly basis. So if you want to walk in there with a certain amount of gems, after a certain amount of playtime, you will reach a point where you can generate a lot of gems a whole lot of free gems on a monthly basis. I had estimated for myself that it was around 2,500. And no, I'm not talking about the content creator perks. This is taken into account the quests, 
the chest uh doing the doom tower hard and normal doing some events some tournaments of in between fusion events which means that you could roughly have we'll say up to like 1500 gems maybe a thousand gems if you're just starting out so if you hoard those gems and have those ready for the fusion that is going to make your life a lot easier and finally a quick update on the nightmare and ultra nightmare chest if you're doing your clan boss every day you're doing two chests you're getting a whole lot of shards for example six sacred shards if you're doing both of them i get that this is more end game but still i'm saying that over time all of these fusions are guaranteed doable as free to play you generate enough while playing raid if you do everything for you to get there we saw it with the monthly energy we saw it with the gems it is doable guys so hopefully with this guide you guys are better prepared for this i really want you to get this one i think he's going to be a game changer let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you later